Hey, Joe of RDS Recycling, Garden Recycling Opportunities. So if you'd like to come to the uh, mic over here. Good evening. My name is Joe Federico, and I'm with uh, RDS uh, Recycling and Disposal Solutions. We are a recycling company, and uh, we have a total of three recycling facilities, three permitted recycling facilities uh, permitted by the DEQ. We have two of them in the Roanoke market, and we have one of them in the Hampton Roads market, in, in actually in Portsmouth, Virginia. We, uh, we do recycling, it's, it's what we do. We've done it uh, in the Portsmouth facility for 15 years, and we've done it in the Roanoke market for 10 years. Um, I've been in recycling for my entire life. I've worked for a number of different recycling uh, companies um, from Atlanta, Georgia, all the way up, uh, up into upstate New York. So I've, I've had a wide variety of experience in the recycling industry. Um, a, a while back, we were asked to come in and work with uh, Allegheny County and uh, the city of Covington to help uh, formulate and, and suggest some different ideas to uh, hopefully present a, a more robust recycling program and, and one that you could count on to consistently uh, provide you with the service levels that you expect. And um, we've come up with a couple of ideas and proposals. We, um, we most recently have done uh, a, a program with uh, Clifton Forge, and the model that we're going to talk with you about today is based on, uh, and it actually is identical to the one that we offer for Clifton Forge. Um, I'd like to obviously introduce myself, but I'd also like to introduce to um, other co-workers, uh, both in the Rona market, uh, Billy Basham is back there providing technical support on the PowerPoint presentation. And then Lauren Cutler just recently joined us and she is working with us in community outreach and, um, and social media and, uh, and, and development market, market development. So um, we had a brief, uh, a brief outline of them, but uh, as I shared with you, RDS was opened uh, in 2004 in Portsmouth. And then uh, we worked our way out into the Roanoke market. And uh, once again, we provide recycling programs for uh, communities as large as the city of Roanoke. And, and again, you know, just right next to our smallest Clifton Forge. We offer uh, a lot of communities options on recycling programs. One of the options, for example, that we offer the city of Roanoke is a single screen recycling program where all the different recycled commodities are all brought in the, the same container and then when they come to our facility we go ahead and separate those out and we also offer some other communities the option to keep individual items separate but um, we feel because we have the machinery to separate the different items and because when you collect items and you mix them all in the same container together you can actually get more items in there rather than having to worry about <coughs> one of your recycle bins is filled and you have to remove your container, even though the other ones are part empty. Uh, we, we feel that the single stream recycling program is, is a very effective alternative for recycling. We also feel that from a residential standpoint, the residents like the fact that they can bundle all their recyclable material together and then just put it in one bin without having to separate it out. Uh, we, uh, for the um, city of uh, for Clifton Forge, we have a program, and, and once again, we've modeled our uh, proposed program uh, for you all off of the one that we have for them. And, and what we have here are our blue recycling containers. Um, as you, you note in the picture there, there are a number of different slots available. So residents can put their recyclable products within there. We have a, a narrow and long slot because we suggest that residents break down their cardboard boxes and slide it in. That makes uh, for more material going into the container. And then we also have some, some larger square slots if residents have um, different containers or bags of containers that they want to put in there. So it makes it a little bit convenient. Our containers are approximately 22 cubic yards each, and they hold a, a fair amount of material. 
we, uh, we actually have a, a number of them uh, at our facility now, so if a program uh, wanted to get started, we could get started up very quickly. And uh, again, this is the same type of program that we have offered to Clifton Forge. The uh, containers, uh, for example, with Clifton Forge are picked up twice a month. And in our uh, proposal, we believe that you had a, a couple of different sites that you might consider. And we would suggest picking up either once or twice per month, depending on the traffic at each location and how quickly the containers get filled. Now, we can pick up more often, or we can set additional containers at a site if that were needed. But based on our just very, very brief analysis, that's how we presented our proposal. Um, we, we do try to present or, or collect on a predetermined schedule, and, and we take a lot of that worry off of you all. Uh, we ask for a little assistance and just monitoring, but once we develop a schedule, we just kind of roll with it, and, and um, we're normally pretty good at predicting when those containers are going to be full. And if a driver's in the area, we also have him swing by to check out the containers just to kind of confirm that there's room and, and that it's ready for service or not ready for service. Um, we have uh, provided, once again, identical cost uh, proposal based on what we have proposed or what we have in agreement with Clifton Forge. Uh, we initially offered them uh, some discounted rates to uh, get that started, and then we went to a, a regular rate for our gable top recycling containers. There is a haul charge and a processing <laughs> service. We can provide additional containers if you had some type of an event and you felt that you needed additional containers. And um, that's a, a little bit more expensive because we have to schedule a driver in and, and work him into the route on a, a day that he might have scheduled off. Uh, I'm not sure, I'm sure. Question. Uh, I think it's important to note uh, in the agreement that was reached with Clifton Board, the city as a cursory effort was included in that RFP. We have not moved forward with any services, but as an opportunity to potentially, depending on which way council decided they wanted to pursue with recycling, we are covered in that RFP. Um, and Mr. Popovich has a copy of it as well. And um, currently, Clifton Forge is doing twice monthly hauls Correct. for two bins. And that is um, what was recommended to us as well. And based on the pricing model, with us doing two big bins, twice a month hauling, and when he mentioned the monitoring, that's really um, when the guys are doing trash collection, once a week, going past the bin and just seeing is it overflowing yet, um, just till we get a sense of the volume. But we save money based on what we currently pay for recycling. It's, I think- At this rate. At this rate, yes. It's about 15 to $20,000. We saved 15. Yes, sir. Yes, I, uh, I, th I think we gave a, a very rough estimate um, on that current program of a, of a budget of approximately 30,000. Uh, there would actually be, um, you know, depending on what the budget was, uh, or, or, or might have been, uh, you know, you, you might have room to put additional containers out if you had an additional $15,000 that we were under your current budget. So I, I think we've got a pretty good cushion in there. You, uh, I want to make sure it's wiggle room if we needed more. <laughs> yeah, so there would still be wiggle room. Um, we currently pay a little over $40,000 towards recycling annually. That's our contribution currently to our current provider. Now, there would be a main ship in that. There is the opportunity for business collection at this time. Um, however, uh, service delivery or service level performance has been somewhat of a concern. We would not have any business pickup of uh, recycling. It would all be come and drop off, but it is single street. So that means if I have uh, water bottles and cardboard and my um, soda cans, they can all go in the same hole. I don't have to sort them out before I take them to the bins or anything like that. Yes, that's right. It, it makes it very easy um, to recycle. 
we handle this work? Uh, that was a quick copy of, of some of our uh, proposal budget uh, thoughts and all that. Do you also work with Bath County? We do, yes, we do. The same kind of very, uh, very similar. pricing and that type of thing as you do with them? Or? It's a somewhat different program. So in Bath County, uh, they have the same type of drop-off containers, but we don't provide those. They have a, a third-party company that provides those containers, and then Bath County collects that material and they bring it to their old transfer station. If you're, if you're familiar with that, I, I like transfer stations, but um, anyway. And then uh, from there, we send a, um, a large truck in, a transfer trailer truck in, and they load everything from that transfer station into our truck, and then it comes to us. And so the, the price and structure is somewhat different because we provide that large truck to collect the material. Um, we, we actually have looked for something similar to that because the larger vehicle is less expensive than two smaller vehicles, but um, we were not able to find something in this area to kind of consolidate everything together. Uh, but we did spend some time trying to find that. <coughs> Council, any other questions? Um, appreciate it. Um, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, thank you for the opportunity to talk with you in the morning.